can the smell of someone make you fall in love with them? It is 100% true and kind of crazy that there are certain smells which will make certain animals want to immediately and unthinkingly have sex. The molecules behind these scents are called pheromones. And for a very long time, a lot of lonely people and a lot of researchers have wondered if there are human pheromones, if there are molecules like this that would have this effect on people. The disappointing or relieving news is that humans lack what's called a vomer nasal organ, which is what causes animals to react to pheromones in every known instance where the molecules seem to hijack the animal's behavior fully. Almost every pheromone love potion you see sold on sketchier corners of the internet is made with molecules found in pig sweat such as androstenone, because these have been shown to arouse pigs and they can function even without a vomer nasal organ. This isn't as crazy as it sounds because a lot of these same molecules are actually found in human sweat, but research has failed to find any consistent sexual response from people who smell them. The fact is, there's a lot of money to be made if somebody makes an effective love potion. And since we haven't seen one in the 50 years since pheromones were discovered, there probably isn't some magic human pheromone that will make someone fall instantly in love with you. But that doesn't mean there aren't subtler effects. For example, a 2011 study found that the smell of ovulating women will increase testosterone levels in men. And a 2013 study found that one of those molecules found in human male sweat, androstadenone, will make women happier, although it doesn't overtly alter behavior. Okay, so maybe men can unconsciously smell something about female ovulation and the smell of men makes women happier. I mean, that's all that these studies are showing, and that's about as strong as any pheromone-like effects have been observed in humans. But that's only because we're talking about universal effects, a smell that every guy or every woman would react to. Because when it comes to meeting your particular match, it turns out that the way someone smells could absolutely make you fall in love. About a month ago, I spent a week eating nothing but smelly food, and it made every inch of my body stink. This is because everything that's in the fluid between your blood and your cells comes out through your sweat, not just in your armpits, but all over the body. It turns out that because of this, each of us has a unique scent that's basically an immune system signature, and this comes straight from our DNA, a part of it called the Major Histocompatibility Complex, or MHC. Generally speaking, it's healthier for a person to have a more diverse MHC. So it would make sense for people to be attracted to people who have a different MHC than they do. They would make healthier babies together. So here's the question. Are you more likely to fall in love with somebody who has a compatible MHC? In the past 20 years, a ton of research has been done about this. And it turns out the answer is a resounding yes. People are significantly more attracted to partners who have a distinct MHC that pairs well with their own. And it really seems that the only way we can tell whether somebody's MHC fits ours is by smelling them. People actually smell better to us when their MHC is a good match. The science here is pretty new, so it's hard to say with certainty how all of this works. But this may even be the reason that we feel that sort of unexplainable chemistry with some people and not with others. As you may remember from our previous video, I don't use soap when I shower, and this may be another benefit of that. I'm not washing off that MHC smell. In the end, there's probably not a universal human pheromone that's gonna make every guy or every girl fall for you. But each of us does have a unique smell that's gonna be very attractive to a small number of people out there. And fortunately for us, their smell is gonna be quite attractive to us too. Here's hoping that you find your perfect smelling soulmate or that you already have. Until next time, stay dry.